In the wake of the ball tampering incident by Australian cricketers against South Africa, International Cricket Council Chief Executive Dave Richardson has called for stricter and heavier sanction for any such act as well as showing lack of respect for the game. Addressing a press conference at the end of the five-day ICC quarterly meet here in Kolkata, Richardson said. A significant talking point was the player issue around the, the player's code of conduct, player behaviour. Um, that was discussed again both by the Chief Executives Committee and by the Board. Um, and I think we had a very good discussion in both those forums. Uh, there was clear direction received that we want to move towards stricter and heavier sanctions for ball tampering and all other offences actually that uh, are indicative of a lack of respect um, for your opponent, for the game, for the umpires, for fans, for the media, etc. And, and that includes uh, offences like uh, using abusive language, sledging in, in, is another way that people refer to it, um, send-offs, once you've dismissed a batsman, giving him, telling him where to, exactly to go, dissent at an umpire's decision. Those, we want, we want penalties in place which act to, as a proper deterrent. Fines are not proving to be the answer, and once, what we will ask the, the, um, the cricket committee to do is review our current penalties, uh, related to each of those types of offences and come forward with recommendations to the Chief Executives Committee and the Board in June and July. That Cricket Committee will be bolstered by the likes of, we, we're just putting together a panel, we're trying to uh, confirm availability, but the people we're trying to get in place there are people like Richie Richardson, Alan Border, Sean Pollock, to help us um, make some, some recommendations that uh, that will, I think, uh, in the end, prove a much more effective deterrent against poor player behavior. But that's only one part of it. The second part is we realize that, yes, we want to try and deter poor behavior, but we also want to encourage behavior which uh, epitomizes the spirit of cricket. The biggest, I think, the biggest eye-opener for people in cricket was the reaction to the recent incidents in the series between Australia and South Africa. But quite frankly, we'd been worried a bit about poor baby player behavior before that, before that third test where the ball tampering occurred. There'd been just too many incidents of sledging, ugly, ugly abusive language being used, uh, dissent, etc. And what we need to try and do is, is, we've got the spirit of cricket in the laws, but what does that mean? We need to define what it means in this modern day and age and both the Chief Executives Committee and the Board were very um, supportive of trying to develop a culture of respect across the game, both on the field and off the field. I am a